From the Journal of Aframas Long Journey. Pilgrim. With notes by Havas Thor, scholar of Reeve Library. By a day, 17th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. 30th day in the trees. While we were walking today, Torn asked about the burrow. I told him about us. I told him about how we travel through the desert, going from oasis to oasis. I told him about our neighbors in Nalifron on the Tresku. He asked me the name of the desert, and I told him it was the burrow. He asked if the desert was named for us. I told him no. He then asked if we were named for the desert. My first father was right. Outsiders never understand. We found an odd tree this evening, odder even than the needle trees. It grew upside down. The crown of the tree was suspended over our heads, pointing downwards. The leafy canopy was caged in by massive roots which grew from the top, going up and then curving until they pointed downwards, like great columns. Branches show out from between the roots, making it easy for Torn to climb up to the top. Note, I am not personally aware of any tree which habitually grows upside down. It's possible it began as an ordinary elm or poplar and was altered by a lost tribe of horticulturalists. I warned him not to, for it was very high, but he would not heed me and soon had removed his boots and was climbing as though he were a monkey. I watched, worried that he might fall and break his neck, but he was sure-footed and kept his grip on the branches. He reported that there was a great nest of some sort in the roots. There were eggs in it as large as his head, though he saw nothing warming them. After watching the skies around him, he snuck close and retrieved a feather. It was as long as his arm and red gold in color. He secreted it away, claiming it for a project of his. He will not tell me the details of it. He is a very strange man. Note, a great eagle's nest, I suspect. These large raptors customarily hunt deer and boar, but have developed a taste for explorers. We made camp under the tree. The roots make it easily defended against predators. Once the dead leaves and other debris were cleared away from the fire, it was almost ideal. One day the trees tried to kill us. Today one shelters us. I cannot make up my mind if I like this forest or if it terrifies me.